What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the CFL Commitment Series. I am your guy, Kobe Orr, and we back with another one, man. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep breaking this to y'all. Y'all know that. Y'all know that by now. This is why this is the CFL Commitment Series. Now, the latest guy we're gonna talk about today goes by the name of Jimmy Bennett Jr. Right, an offensive lineman for Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College. Now, Coach Nancy is doing a really good job. A really good job. Very proud of him. Right, and I feel like next year is going to be the year that they go above 500 or at least get to 500. But let's get back to Jimmy. So, he is 6'2, 320 pounds, and a sophomore offensive lineman. Of course, he comes from Clinton, played at Clinton High School. Now, keep in mind when you're watching his highlights, um, he is at center because I know the little indicator he used to show where he was at in the highlight tape is a little confusing because it got multiple arrows and everything like that. He's the center, so look at the center, right? So, yeah, he comes from Clinton High School. His freshman year, he played in five games, started one of them. Um, and he finished the year in MACJC All American Academic. So he, you know, he had a pretty decent year. Now, being that he's a freshman in JUCO, you don't really, you don't really see it that much, right? Like you don't really see freshmen getting that much playing time. However, his sophomore stats are not available anywhere. I don't know where they are. But looking at his tape, right, he is gonna be a great addition for Valley. I can tell, right? Like just looking at him, I can tell he's gonna be a really good addition for Dancy and coach um for Coach Dancy in Valley. The reason why I say that is because every time, man, just look at his base, right? Look at his frame, look at his base. Um he stays low. He's like a brick wall with good feet because, like, he will mirror the defender. The defender does not really have a chance at getting past him because, you know, he's just so stoutly built, number one. He moves well for 320 pounds, number two. And number three, he's really strong. As you can see, when you're 320 pounds, I bet it ain't easy to get past you, right? No. With that good run game that they had last year led by Caleb Johnson, Imagine how it's going to be next year with this man blocking for you. After hiking the ball, of course. Yo, if if Valley finds a quarterback, which I'm praying they do, but if Valley finds a quarterback, it's going up next season. It is going up next season. Like, um, you know, every time Valley gets someone, I get hyped because that that's the team I want to see the most in HBCU football, like really rise, right, and really have um, a coming of age type of era. I need, I like, I want that so bad for Valley, right? They're already getting a new turf. Um, thank God, because that field they had this year was just not it, right? Looked like a safety hazard. So they're getting that, and you know now they keep they keep Coach Nancy is really getting these guys, and it's it's going unnoticed. Like it's really going unnoticed, and I think he prefers it that way. I think he wants to stay low key. Um, he don't he doesn't really want the pressure of him like Coach Prom has with the kids that he gets. So you know he wants to stay low key and everything like that, and he just wants to surprise a lot of people next season. And I think it'll happen. Right, especially when if, if he keep, if he keeps getting kids like this, I think it's a great thing that he's going after these JUCO guys, these experienced guys. He doesn't have time to you know put freshmen out there and produce them, you know, like bring them up, bring them along, like for the next three to four years. Like you need kids who can come in right now and help your program uh, get to new heights, continue to go to new heights. So I think it's a perfect balance that you have. Coach Nancy realizes that, and he's going after these guys. So great job by Coach Nancy. Love the addition. If you are a Valley fan, let me know what you think about this kid down below uh, watching this highlight tape, right? Because I'm really interested to see. Um, but with that being said, man, you are watching the CFL podcast or the CFL commitment series, as I should say. Um, thank you so much. Again, please check out Please check out the streaming service that I told you about. Mr. Derek Valley himself, man. He hit me up. He did me a solid, bro. Like, so I, I have to put y'all on to that streaming service. All right. The picture, like I said, is up, but I'll put it up again. Go follow him on Instagram. DM him. Inquire about it. You're going to see what I'm talking about. All right. It's great quality content. Um when it comes to their streaming so with that being said i really do appreciate you guys you are watching the cfl podcast i go by the name of kobe and i'm out
Peace.